We all know how important hygiene is, so is your mask more dangerous than it should be? Here are some tips for keeping good mask hygiene. Let's all agree they're not something any of us want to wear, but doctors say masks, they're important. Perhaps one of our uh, top tools to avoid COVID-19. But you should know. It's very easy to cross-contaminate your mask and actually make it a bit more dangerous than it should be. Dr. Luis Ostrowski with Memorial Hermann says you should never bend or fold your mask where one side can touch the other. On the inside, your own respiratory droplets are going to be sort of carrying bacteria, yeast, other uh, microorganisms. On the outside, they're going to do their job and they're going to catch those droplets from other people. Some bacteria can stay on the mask, so he says you should wash it or throw it away daily. If not, it's just going to be sort of an unpleasant thing. You could probably get acne. Which dermatologists say they're seeing a lot. Three to five patients a day. It's significant. It's happening quite a bit. Dr. Peterson with the Pearl Dermatology says it's called acne mechanica or mask knee. It's a combination of heat friction, oil, sebum, um, bacteria, and then also some of the skincare products such as makeup. So everything just kind of in combination. It's seen most in those who wear a mask for most of the day, but there are things that can help. Before you put your mask on, make sure you start with a nice clean face. First and foremost, wash your face. Avoid makeup and use a non-acne causing lotion. Once it's off, wash your face again and then go wash your mask. To do so, the CDC says you should use hot water and regular detergent. Once in the dryer, use the highest heat setting and leave it in there until the mask is completely dry.